Every good day starts with the weasel. Diesel weasel. You ready for a fun day? We're gonna go deliver that crane today that we picked up in BC. It's gonna be fun. You look really excited. I think he's still half asleep. <laughs> well, I'm three quarter awake, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go hook onto the trailer right now. Uh, I just have just started the truck here, warmed it up. Got my bed all set up and organized in the back there. Gotta clean out your water dish yet. Shoot. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that yet. Uh, and then head on over there and deliver this crane. Let's go. Somewhere around here is where I gotta bring this crane. I see a crane there off to the left already. I'm guessing that must be it. How do I get in there? Your destination is on the left. Is it now? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So that's where the cars go in. Guessing I go around this way. And there must be an entrance over here. Alright, I'm here. I got a crane for you. All the way from British Columbia. Okay, so a guy just ran out here to talk to me. I may be delivering this to another location. But I'm supposed to go into the office here and ask the good people in the office. I went over there, asked them where they wanted me. They, they said, go ask those guys over there. So I went and asked those guys over there, where do you want me? They said, I don't know, go ask those guys over there. Wait, what? They said to ask you. No, you said to ask them. I have no idea where they want me. <laughs> right now they're moving around a big crane in their yard, so I'll let them finish with that task first. It seems they're all pretty preoccupied with moving this big thing around. Uh, and then we'll figure out where they want me, I guess. I might need to move the truck here. Let's see, here they come. See, I might need to back up. Get out of his way. Yeah. Those things look like a lot of fun to operate too. Alright. Now they got that thing out of here. Maybe now they'll know what they want to do with me. Guess I'll go back into the office. We have another truck that's getting unloaded in there, in this yard here right now too, but he's, they, it looked like they finished half of, half of his load and then they just left. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure there must be some kind of rhyme or reason to what's going on here, but I have no idea what it is. But everybody seems to have a very important job to do. Because everybody's busy doing something. I would like to be busy unloading. But first I have to find someone who's not busy doing something else. So I just finished uh, rolling up all the straps, taking all the straps off. And they've started unloading already. They're putting it right over there. Uh, he's just behind me there right now with a zoom boom. Taking the rest of it off. There's some more on that truck there. Another truck behind me that had some. That's gonna turn into a crane or be used to make a crane. I don't know how it works, but here we are. So I'm not too sure what's on the agenda from here yet. Let's check see if I have any messages. No messages yet. Okay, I better send a message then saying, Hey! Hi! Trucker Josh is just about empty and ready for a new one. What you got? And we're empty. We're off. We got an empty skateboard behind us. An empty flatbed pull this back to the yard and see what they have for us. I let them know already, sent them that message saying, hey, here I come, I'm empty. What you got for me? I got nothing so far. Nothing. So hopefully, I don't want to go home yet, but an early day, I guess, is all right. Every now and then. I had a pretty full week last week. So I'm okay with a short day today, I guess. I'm pretty sure they'll have something. They usually do. They always dig something up. So this other yard they had me unload in is in St. Andrews, a little north of Winnipeg. So before I go back to the yard, I gotta get some fuel. I'm running a little bit low. 
Well, this is a busy road here yet. Oh, oh dear. The median between the directions of travel here, the medians aren't wide enough or it isn't big enough for me to fit my whole truck and trailer in there. I would have blocked the road and cut off this car if I would have gone. Now there's no one coming, now I'm going. All right. Here we go, here we go. Watch out, Trucker Josh entering the roadway. Put your helmets on. Oh, okay, a little slippery. Okay, let's give her. Put the four ways on. There we go. And we're off. So I believe I'm gonna go to Deacon's Corner on the east side of Winnipeg. Grab some fuel and grab some lunch. I didn't pack a lunch today and I'm lucky though. Very often my wife packs my lunches for me. I know, right? I'm spoiled. First year of marriage, enjoying it while I can. <laughs> Everyone says, oh wow, newlyweds. She makes your lunches for you? Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> I got a great wife, yeah. But she didn't make one for me today. So, you know, she can't spoil me every day or I'll get, you know, I'll turn into a brat. So, she didn't make nothing, I didn't make nothing. I gotta go buy lunch. Diesel. I see you there on the couch. We had a very short day today, buddy. I thought we'd have a little bit more to do. I just got home. Well, I've been home for a little while now already. The Frankie here, we got Diesel. Where do we got Chevy? Chevy's around here somewhere. Chevy? Chevy? Did you put yourself in your house? You did, didn't you? Did you do something bad? I was just having a nap. Usually, when he's bad, he, he punishes himself and he puts himself in his house. We don't even have to put him in there. He'll, he'll put himself in there. Did you do something bad? No? I don't think he did. Oh well. And so, it's been a very short day. All we did was deliver that crane load and that's it. Tomorrow, apparently, they have something different for me. I gotta go deliver a, a, a load. I'm not even sure what it is. They gotta pick it up in Winnipeg and bring it out near Brandon, Manitoba. So it's about a three hour drive west and a three hour drive back plus the loading time and unloading over there. So it'll be a full day. That's what we'll be doing tomorrow and then we'll see what they have for us the next day after that.